Welcome back. It is Indigenous Peoples Day at the Idle George Museum. Invited visitors for a free day to celebrate Native American art and culture from the Pacific Northwest. News 8's Malia Van Ostrand was there to capture the spirit of that celebration. The event gave people a chance to connect with Native stories through performances and art forms told through the eyes of the Indigenous peoples themselves. Monica Raphael, a fifth generation porcupine quill worker, artist and curator at the Idol Door, gave guided tours to the museum's Native American galleries as part of the day's celebration. Creating and uh, sharing my quill work is a way to uh, share my culture and to let the world know that we as indigenous people are still thriving and are continuing our culture. As Raphael sees it, the day isn't just a showcase of art, it's an opportunity to see and hear indigenous stories told directly from those who live them. I'm able to talk, to uh, share an authentic version of indigenous cultures, more specifically on the tribes of the Great Lakes. It's the Idle Jorg's second annual Indigenous Peoples Day celebration. The museum aims to expand its cultural offerings and build on relationships with tribes in the Great Lakes region. We are the place to go in Indiana, in the Midwest. West. I mean, we can really own this holiday and really um, use the collections and the artist relationships that we have to help people understand um, what it's all about. The Get Home Dancers, or People of the Salmon, used movement to carry on ancient stories from southern Alaska. And throughout the day, artists demonstrated crafts with carving and beadwork. Hague hopes visitors walk away from the celebration with the willingness to continue learning about modern Native American culture. There are 574 tribes in the U.S. alone, and they're all sovereign nations, and they all have their own unique language and culture. Raphael says a day to recognize the atrocities that happened to her ancestors and educating people about what indigenous people are doing today is a step in becoming more compassionate humans. Recognizing Indigenous Peoples Day is a way to change our world to become a better place, a way that we can honor all peoples of all colors. In Indianapolis, I'm Leah Van Ostrand, Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.